What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be doing a tutorial on how to recover a previous version of a Google Doc. Now this is a helpful technique if data is lost in your document. Now for reference, I'm doing this on a Chromebook, specifically the Pixelbook Go. As always, I only feature products or services I buy or would like to buy. This gives the channel more credibility and appeal because we feature items that interest me and change the way we live. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. You can also support the podcast by downloading the Anchor app and making a small monthly donation on that platform. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here I am in a test document. Here you can see I have a title with two sentences. First, let's talk about how to name this current version of this document. Now this allows us to find this previous version easier should we have to restore from this point. First, we're going to navigate to file in the top left hand corner and click on it. Next, we'll scroll down to version history. Now you can see this opens up a side menu and we're going to click on name current version. Now once you've named this version, you can click save. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner, you get a notification message that just tells you that this version was saved. Now we can simulate data being deleted accidentally. So I'm going to delete the sentences in this document. And then we're going to exit out of here. Now I went ahead and reopened the document and you can see I'm missing the data. Now we can go ahead and restore this document from a previous version and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look for file in the top left hand corner and click on that. And then we're gonna scroll down to version history. Again, we're gonna have that side menu pop out and then we can go ahead and click on see version history. Now you can see there is also a helpful shortcut if you wanna do this a little bit faster, but we're going to click on this option. Now here we'll see the current version with missing data shown with mark throughs. On the right side of the window is our version history panel. Now, if you remember, we named our previous version and we can actually see that here. It's going to be title with two sentences and we actually want to restore those sentences. So they were actually in that version. So we're going to click on this and then it's going to show up and everything's going to be highlighted. That's OK, but we're not done yet because we actually have to go to the top here and we have to click on restore this version. And then there's going to be a dialog box that appears. It just wants to know if we actually want to restore to this version and we are going to click restore. Now, as you can see, you also get a little pop up in the top middle there and it says restored version and then it has the name of your restored version. And the document looks just like it was before we accidentally deleted the sentences. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.